Nintendo 64 Fun Time. What is up, YouTube? Nintendo 64 Fun Time coming back at you today. So I just got back from vacation, and I have one just small pickup I'm going to show you guys just for fun. I uh, went to a thrift shop, and I was actually able to find a few Nintendo 64 controllers. Um, I only bought this one. They were a little bit pricey as far as like thrift shop prices. Um, but this one has a perfect, perfect tight stick. But it was really, really bad. I actually took it apart yesterday, did a huge deep clean, greased the stick up, and it's it's awesome. It's a little bit discolored and stuff like that in some areas because it was so dirty, but it's an awesome controller. And I think I'm going to maybe paint it a really cool color, maybe like metallic purple or something like that. But a little pickup. I'm excited to have this, like I said, especially because the stick is so good. But what do we have today? So the last video we did Lily Hammer 94 and I told you guys that's my favorite Winter Olympics game. Um, I love that game and I had a really good time with that. So now what do we get to do? We get to go to the other end of the spectrum. We go from the best game probably to the worst Winter Olympics game ever. What is that? Four years later, we got Nagano Winter Olympics 98 for the Nintendo 64. Now, Konami put out this game, they published this game, and for the most part, graphically and the style of the game, it's really, really good. But what ruins this game so bad to where it's probably the worst Winter Olympics game? Let's find out. Here we go. All right, Nagano Winter Olympics 98, here we go. My first gripes right off the bat with this game is, to be honest, we're treated to this kind of beautiful cinematic. For the Nintendo 64, it actually looks relatively good. Um, you know, it kind of goes through the gameplay and stuff like that, but as soon as you hit start, Look at this turd of a title screen. What's wrong with the color? I honestly had to check uh, when I first started playing this, when I first started trying to play a little bit, I checked the settings on my Nintendo 64 and made sure everything was plugged in correctly because I thought something was off with the color. What is this? The color is terrible. It looks so bad. The title screen, that's what you're welcome to. I don't know. It's a nitpick, but the title screen, come on. Now, this part's kind of cool because it actually does kind of a hand-drawn scribble look. There's lots of color. It looks kind of cool. And then right off the bat, when you do Olympic mode, you have the option um, to pick from every event. I love that. I love the fact that you don't have to unlock everything. It just, that makes it so much better when right away you can just play all the events, all that you want. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is let's do ski jumping. Um, and we can kind of get to why this game is really bad right off the bat. So what they do a good job of showing you, okay, these are the controls you're going to have to use. I realize I have to use A for landing, um, and I'm going to control my guy with uh, the uh, thumbstick. Uh, so we're going to start. So, for the most part, I kind of thought my guy was initially going to start going down the hill by, on his own. And I realized he's not going to do that. So I'm trying to hit buttons and trying to hit the D-pad and stuff like that. And I realized the only way to start is A. So let's just hit A and see what happens. So we're just sitting here nonchalant. And he just jumps. He just jumped. Like, I, I started and I just jumped. So I kind of thought it was a fluke the first time. So let's try it one more time. Let's press down the hill since we have to probably go down the hill and stuff like that. So I'm, gonna, I'm pressing down before I start and I hit uh, A. Nope, we do it again. We jump again. So in order to go down the stupid hill right off the bat and just not have your character jump, you have to be holding back on your joystick. You have to hold back on your joystick before you even start hitting A or else he's going to jump like an idiot at the top of the hill. So okay, now that we kind of got the controls figured out, let's just see how well we can do it. And I understand I have an angle gauge, I have a landing gauge, that's cool, but what I want to do is I want to look at my character going down the hill because that's the fun part is watching your character do his thing. 
So then I hit forward and I'm jumping. I gotta even my guy out and I'm gonna land. And it's just like, the whole game, you wanna, you wanna look at your character. You wanna have a good time and enjoy the game and enjoy what it has to offer and see everything that it has to, have to offer. But the problem with this game, not only are the controls terrible, you have to just stare at stupid gauges the whole time. You in no way are able to enjoy the game because you're either looking at that gauge or you're looking at this gauge. You never get to look anywhere else on the screen or else you're not going to do well. And it's, it just, it sucks. It takes away so much from the game. And then I got to stare over at this gauge and I'm staring at this gauge and it's just like, I don't, I don't, the, the thing that I said throughout this game over and over and over, it's just like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Am I doing it wrong? I don't get it. But I'm not. It's just that hard and that difficult to get the controls right. It's honestly, they amped up the controls of the difficulty and how perfect you have to have it to where it actually feels like you would need to be an Olympic athlete in video games to be able to actually compete in this. They just amped up the difficulty so much. You need to be an actual Olympian. That wasn't bad. That was actually pretty good. What did I do? My landing was terrible. Why is my landing terrible? Wait, was that worse than my first one? I don't get it. I feel like that was pretty good. Do I need to be back? I might need to be back more. My landing was still bad. 188. I got 13th place instead of 16th place. So maybe I could tweak that one a little bit and actually get not good at that game. I don't know. I don't know. And it's just, it's something that plagues this game over and over is the controls, the controls, the controls, and it just, it's unfortunate because this game could be really good, it's just not. And it's just so difficult. They do a good job of saying what the controls are going to be, so this one we're actually going to use our shoulder buttons, our, our shoulder buttons here, and we're rocking back and forth just like every other ice skating game. Um, and I give him props for actually using the left joystick. But the problem is, is I never could figure out the rhythm of this game. Now, I'm looking at the gauge because that's all I can really look at, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good as far as, like, a rhythm goes. And my stamina is going down, so it looks like he's working hard. But I've never been able to catch the guy in front of me. And I feel like I got a pretty good little rhythm going on. I just don't know. And like I said, that's... Every time I get done playing an event, and I feel like I did it relatively good, it's... I just, at the end of it, I just go, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. And what's hard is I've done this so many times. Like, I wanted to get good at this game for you guys, but it's just the controls end up being so hard and so frustrating. Why would you ever come back and play this game? Why would you want to get good at this game? Even if it was a game that you bought for a lot of money, any, even if this was your only game, I would, init I would be like, no, I'm just going to go get another game because this is terrible. There's no replayability because why would you want to? I don't know. And I've tried most of these events. I haven't done bobsled. 
Let's do the evil bobsled that I'm always bad at. I've never done this one uh, in like 10, 15 years. So power, ride on, don't know what that means. Handle, I don't know what ride on means. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to hit A. On. Disqualified. Does the ride on mean that's when you gotta like jump in? See, that's the problem too. You're hitting these buttons really quick. So I'm, I'm literally gonna play the game, play the game like this because I gotta hit B. All right, let's try this. So let's hit A as quickly as we can, and we'll hit B. When that turns green, right? That was pretty good. Everybody's in. We're going down the hill. I don't feel like I'm going very fast. I'm not hitting anything. It's like auto steering. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, I'm going fast. I will give this props because it feels like I'm hauling. It feels like I'm out of control. Okay, I'll give this props right now because if this gives you a sense that you are hauling down the hill. Um, let's try this one more time. Let's see if I can do this. Because this one actually looks kind of fun. Like there's a little bit of skill to it. I can kind of get this. I am holding my controller like this to start out with because I'm hitting A and then I'm hitting B as they come up. Let's see if I can do this. That's pretty good. Yeah, it started out really good. That was minus. I don't know how much I have to turn. I mean, it feels like you're getting a tremendous amount of speed. And I know you want to kind of be up on the walls a little bit, right? Oh, jeez! I think that's the one I wiped out on last time. Again, the controls are just too hard. Like, I get, like, that's one that I might actually want to continue to play a little bit, maybe, because, like, I would want to get good at it. I can imagine if you memorize the course and stuff like that. And like I said, it's fun because that one really gives you that, like the feeling of, okay, I got a lot of speed going on. All right. Let's do some downhill skiing. So I control my guy with this. Whoa, okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, okay, A is like, gives you a little more turn. Whoa, oh. man. I'm actually interested in, I don't know if you guys ever remember this, back in the day when arcades were I mean, they're starting to be cool again, but back in the day when arcades were just like super cool, I remember going to the arcade and there used to be a skiing. Oh! oh. Wasn't expecting that. See, there's no map on this one. All the other events, there was maps, and there's not one on this one. Okay, so it kind of auto bombs the hill. But there was a skiing game where you actually put your feet in kind of some rotating, uh, like, 
step stair things and you could ski back and forth and you actually had railings that you grabbed onto. Um, that was really fun. I remember going and playing that one and that was one that was probably like a dollar or more, you know, back in the day. Way super expensive. The first dollar game I remember putting a full dollar in just to play it was uh, Daytona USA, right? That was fun. Why am I talking about arcade games? This really, this the whole game really does have some arcadey feel to it. I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I could get good at this one. And that's all you gotta do with games. You gotta get good. I still did really bad. I did bail 21 seconds. I guess I don't know. I mean, I, I fell the first part, but I guess I don't know how to do better. And that's the problem. Like, even if you think you're doing good, like, you just... I always get, like, 16th. I don't know. Like, it's just... It's hard because I love, I want to like this game. I love the Olympics. I want there to be a great Winter Olympics game. But the problem is, like, like I said, like at the end of every thing that I do, even no matter how good I do, I just have this overwhelming feeling of I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I felt like I did good, but I just don't get it. All right, let's do aerials. Uh... And then we'll call it a day here. You guys kind of got a sense of the game. And like I said, I want to like this game. So let's pick something. Let's just do it. Front flip, front flip. game like it says B to land but I don't know when to hit it there's no like prompt to hit it <sighs> like do you hit it when your guy actually lands to like stay up and that's the thing it explains the controls but you just like, it doesn't show you how to implement them. And I'm sure the stupid manual says the exact same thing. Oh, this is what you better do. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay. My guy landed, and I hit B, and he actually landed good. That might have been good. What'd I get? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that one again. I bet I could win that one. Let me check. Let me see. Let me try this one more time. I might be actually good at this one. Let's try like the hardest one. 8 point, or 4.85. I'm going to have to hit this one really, really hard. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna win a gold medal in something. You watch. You watch. Winning? I'm in first! Yes! 
I found something I'm good at. Let's do the next hardest one. I'm gonna get a gold medal in this, guys. You watch. I'm so excited right now. You should see my face. There's no skill to this. You just click really fast and hit B. Yes, that was even better. That was even better. I totally won on this. I got second. That's a bunch of bull oni. Schmidt beat me from Switzerland. What the heck? Hey, that was the first time I ever got a medal in this entire game. That was pretty cool. Okay, so I was good at that one. So, looks good. Uh, they did a really good job with that. They tried with the controller stuff, but at the end of the day, what ruins this game is the controls. It's inconsistent, and you have to stare at gauges too much in this game. You can't just play the game because you're sitting there staring at gauges. I don't want to do that. And what's hard is because of this game is so hard and it lacks so much and is so difficult as far as controls, you don't want to come back and play this game. That's the whole point of a game. Back in the day when we didn't have as many games, is you, you needed to have that replayability for it to be a good game. Rentals were huge, so if you were to rent this game, you'd be like, no, this game's too hard, the controls don't make sense, I hate the controls, you'd, you'd put it back you'd bring it back after renting it and you'd never buy this game. But the problem with these Olympics games is they're just shovelware. That's all they were. They were just shovelware. They put them out. It didn't matter. People would still buy them. They made their buck. They were probably pretty easy. I don't know. It is what it is. The, some of the later games were really good like the Sonic uh, Mario Olympics and stuff like that. They were really really good as far as that goes but this is just this is just bad. Just a good idea, graphics look good, just poor execution with the controls. It is what it is, but I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are enjoying your Winter Olympics. I hope I gave you a little bit of insight on some more uh, video game Winter Olympics goodness. Uh, support the Olympics, support your country, cheer on your teams. Uh, because I absolutely love the Olympics and I hope you do too. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do plenty of participation there on what I do next as far as episodes and that's how you can get a hold of me. Um, if you liked this video feel free to like and subscribe and there you go. Nintendo 64 fun time. Always be gaming.